Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. And this is the uh, Wednesday edition of the program, the Kevin Price birthday edition, which you need to celebrate my birthday by going to uh, my good friends at usdailyreview.com, liking them on Facebook, following them on Twitter as a gift that I really appreciate. Speaking of uh, gifts, uh, consider one among my greatest gifts, my contributors, because they bring great content, insight, and information in their areas of expertise. In addition to that, they bring uh, great personalities on for us to get to visit with. And uh, Sam Coyle does that uh, when he joins us here uh, every time on The Price of Business. Sam is with a company called Netrepid. That's N-E-T-R-E-P-I-D.com. Netrepid.com. They are IT uh, consultants and thought leaders. And uh, Sam, as always, welcome to the program. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, real quickly, kind of give us an overview of what Netrep is all about. Sure. Yeah, Netrep is a, a cloud virtual provider uh, located in Harrisburg. Our our big focus is to help companies grow their technology from the ground to the cloud and kind of go through that migration process of evolving their technology to, to current standards. And your guest today? Yeah, today we have Mark Baker. He's from Ubuntu and Canonical. And uh, he's calling us from uh, over the pond. Yeah, well, glad to have you on the program today, Mark. Welcome. Well, thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here. Kind of give us the elevator speech of Ubuntu. Tell us, tell us what Ubuntu is all about. Ubuntu is um, so Ubuntu is, a, is an open source Linux operating system. It's used by 20 plus million people worldwide and runs on everything from tablets to laptops, desktops, and servers. And increasingly now in the cloud too. Very good. Go ahead, Sam. Yeah, Mark, uh, I was hoping you could kind of talk about um, you know, the increased use of, of cloud and open source resources uh, in the enterprise coming up for this next year. So I think uh, certainly with 2013, we've seen a lot of interest in, in people looking at cloud technologies and how they can use that to uh, deploy services faster and, and, and more scalable or more cost efficient. As we look into 2014, we're seeing a lot of interest, not just in cloud, but in terms of how um, businesses could take advantage of like agility or be able to deliver things more rapidly. Um, and I think they see a lot of interest in kind of bringing new services online faster, being able to react to market competitions much more quickly. Yeah, let me ask you real quickly, uh, how old is the company? Kind of give us a historic overview of it. Sure. So Canonical is a company um, that's been around since 2004. That was when Ubuntu uh, Technology Project was was uh, was born. And um, since then, we've um, we made a, a, a decision in about 2008 to, to go very strong into cloud. And so we were uh, onto Amazon EC2 very early in the public cloud, and 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 they're still the kind of most popular um, platform used on Amazon. Uh, it's as you find Ubuntu in most clouds, whether it's Azure or yeah. Amazon, the joint, or, or, or wherever. So um, today we're about 600 people plus. Uh, I'm based in London, but a lot of people based out of our HQ here in London, but uh, em- uh, employees uh, in many places and, and users the world over. Very good. Uh, Sam? Yeah, Mark, obviously we, we run a data center, and, and we found the trend over the last couple of years has definitely been going more toward open source. I'd say right now our most of our servers are probably – open source leading heavily toward Ubuntu, even over Microsoft and, and Oracle and other operating systems. Can you kind of talk about yep. how things like OpenStack and other things are really pushing uh, pushing that technology forward, you know, kind of really overrunning the Microsoft and, and the bigger kind of 500-pound gorilla company? Sure. So um, Linux as a, as a platform for running um, business applications, and, and by that I mean anything from you know, Oracle to um, to standard web infrastructure or, or uh, uh, deployment frameworks, application uh, frameworks, um, has, has been pretty well established for quite a while now in the data center. Um, enterprises, we see enterprises and organizations of all sorts now seeing that the world is moving towards more flexible infrastructure, uh, virtualization and cloud especially. And when there are, um, uh, you know, there's a number of different solutions in that space, OpenStack has emerged as, as definitely the most um, popular and the strongest open source solution. And most uh, enterprises and organizations are looking, what they may well be looking at kind of traditional enterprise vendors for their virtualization and, and maybe cloud solutions. But they, they definitely want an open source option in that space, be it for uh, uh, cost or flexibility. Mm-hmm. 
do you want to mention about to you is U-B-U-N-T-U dot com. That's U-B-U-N-T-U dot com. Go ahead, Sam. Yeah, Mark, the, what would you say is probably the biggest advantage that an open source solution has over over your traditional, uh, you know, kind of Microsoft type platforms? What, what would be the biggest reason somebody might go to that that route? Well, there's, I mean, there's a couple of reasons as ever, but I, most of the time, it's people are looking to open source because they see the option of the of flexibility. So there's multiple vendors that they can do, go to and get a compatible solution. Um, uh, and also because of um, the the cost. So uh, open source, you can acquire cheaply or uh, it's free to distribute. And uh, there's not the same sort of leverage that a vendor will have over the user of that technology via a sort of produ- uh, traditional proprietary license. And so um, it, it, it offers, you know, most users are there for, for cost. Uh, they, get, they get something that's uh, going to be more cost effective um, and for flexibility that's going to give them. Uh, in the long run. So, and I'm noticing, you know, like, uh, for example, uh, like Office apps. Is there any any costs? Uh, well, actually, I'm looking at it. It's completely free. So uh, whenever you buy a new computer, they, of course, want you to buy a Microsoft Office system. But basically, you've got everything covered in here. That's right. I mean, we would never we would never say that um, there's a direct match between uh, different operating systems. And, and we people use Ubuntu because... You know, they like the look and feel of it. It gives them great productivity applications, and there's good compatibility with other applications out there. So, um, so yeah, it, it, certainly on the desktop space, we're shipping more and more um, units with our hardware partners like Dell or HP and others uh, with Ubuntu pre-installed, and, and um, a, a great many people are, are, are in, the, in the Far East or Asia or the world over getting their first experience with operating systems using Ubuntu. Very good. By the way, Ubuntu, one more time, U-B-U-N-T-U dot com. Netrepid is N-E-T-R-E-P-I-D dot com. Uh, Sam? Hey, Mark, the, uh, uh, you mentioned a couple of things, obviously, flexibility and cost of licensing and all that. But, you know, I think a lot of things, one of the things that people really skip over is the fact that these open source systems require less hardware resources to perform the same functions, uh, which also has a, a considerable amount of cost savings on the hardware side. What are your plans as you guys evolve this product to continue to keep the hardware requirements lower so that people can deploy more servers in the same footprint? Hardware utilization is a big issue. People want to uh, be able to you know, get more use out of their existing assets. They want to be able to decrease power footprints, either for cost savings or for ecological uh, benefits. So um, absolutely, we're working hard to maintain footprint. We actually try and um, sort of keep the, the size of the Ubuntu server image uh, within within a, a you know a few hundred megabytes to try and uh, keep things manageable uh, and it's it's a constant challenge of course we want to keep uh, add add capability but but not add sort of uh, too much uh, in, into there in terms of uh, uh, size or hardware requirements. So, yep. Um, but nice. we continue to do that, improve install times, all those kind of things. Gentlemen, great segment, great, uh, very informative. People need to learn more about this website. Thanks so much, Sam, for bringing, uh, bringing this guest to us, Mark Baker. I appreciate it, Sam Coyle. Yeah, great. Thank you. All right. Uh, when we come back, much more for you. Do you want to remind you of best content here? It shows up over there at USDATOREVIEW.COM. You're listening to The Price of Business.